Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to lower your latency when you connect your controller to your PC. It will work for PS4 controller, PS5 controller, and Xbox controller. In this case, I have the PS5 controller over here, so I'm just going to use PS5 controller as a demonstrator, okay? So now you're going to need a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your controller to your PC. Basically, you need to go to first link in the description box. This software will allow you to connect your controller to your PC. It's just a DS4 Windows. Most of you guys probably familiar with what it is. Click on this first link. It will take you to this website. Click on download and download the zip folder. Go to download and extract this folder. And then you're going to see a second folder right next to it and then just install this application over here if you have your controller connected already you, you should see this little indicator show up uh, that say your controller connect already if you click on edit click on controller reading you're gonna see this input delay this is 3.35 to 3.65 millisecond so we're gonna try to load this to zero millisecond by doing a couple things and I will also have another link of software right below the first link so when you click on this link it will take you to this website and then you just click on the code and then just download the zip folder once you're finished downloading this folder you just go to the, the download section and then extract this one just like you did with the first software and we're gonna extract it once you're done you're just gonna go ahead and go in here click on the first one and then just click on this driver and then over here we should see you know set up it will prompt this and then this way you're gonna have access to to all your devices that connect to your PC over here you want to set the default over here to 1000 check this filter on device then click install service once you're done all that just take your controller disconnect the cable and plug it right back in and as you guys can see now this interval at one and then this at 1000 and if you go back to the ds4 software you're gonna see this at zero millisecond delayed that's pretty much it put it straight forward now make sure you guys grab some of these cable they're coming in at a pack of two for 9.99 they're very cheap and they're very reliable and i will have a link in the description box below for you guys go ahead and check them out thank you so much for watching hope this helped you out peace